scientists terrifying discovery in the Sahara Desert. Have you ever imagined traveling to the Saharan Desert? Undoubtedly, the journey to this gigantic desert covering multiple of African countries is extraordinarily difficult. The Saharan environment is extremely harsh. It can be very dangerous to tour an environment that is extremely hot with low humidity. But for the curiosity of scientists, they have made it. However, they were well aware of the fact. And now, what are some of the terrifying discoveries that the scientists have revealed about the Sahara Desert? In this video, we will look at the terrifying discoveries made by scientists in the Saharan Desert. The Sahara Desert covers 9 million square kilometers. The Sahara Desert is famous for its sand dune fields. Topographical features discovered in this arid area found in African continent are mountains, plateaus, basins, salt flats, and depressions. For instance, Emikosi is an extinct volcano revealed in Chad. It's the highest point of in the Sahara, reaching 3,415 meters above the sea level. In northwestern Egypt, the Katara Depression is the deepest point at 133 meters below the sea level. The Sahara used to be a tropical area despite of the harsh arid conditions experienced in the Sahara today. So what happened? Let's go back to thousands of years ago. According to the ecological record, it shows that the presence of the pasture lists. Did you get that right? Undoubtedly, it was because of the tropical vegetation that supported the rearing of animals in the Saharan Desert. Perhaps the humankind who lived in the present arid land were the ones who domesticated the animals of their choice. During this time, it seems the humans and their animals moved across the Saharan grasslands. Indeed, they kept large numbers of cattle and goats. They had turned everything to scrub and desert. Unfortunately, they overgrazed the grassland thus reducing the amount of the atmospheric moisture. Plants give out moisture that produces clouds. According to the archaeologist David Wright, these people destroyed plants, hence enhancing albedo that might have resulted to the harsh arid conditions of the Sahara. And do you know that this led to the end of the humid period more abruptly rather than it can be revealed by the orbital changes? The scientists also revealed that these nomadic people used fire as a land management tool. I pity the speed of the fire at which the desert took hold. Apart from this, have you ever thought of a mega lake just beneath the Sahara Desert? Yes, of course, scientists have discovered that. Indeed, there is a mega lake just beneath the Saharan Desert. What a terrifying discovery. According to the scientists beneath the sand of the arid Saharan, they have revealed evidence of a prehistoric mega lake. Surprisingly, the mega lake was formed in some 250,000 years ago. Unbelievably, this happened when the Nile River was pushing through a low channel near Wadi Tushka. As a result, it flooded the eastern Sahara thus creating a lake covering more than 42,000 square miles. Ted Maxwell and his colleagues working in the National Air and Space Museum geologist recently they witnessed the existence of the lake as they were studying radar data of Egypt as it was recorded by the Space Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. As they used the images of the windblown sediments, Ted reveals that the sediments were produced by running water and bedrock as seen by radar beneath the desert sands, hence resulting the Mega Lake. The geologist explained the Egyptian extreme aridity that enhanced the ability of radar to evidence the distinct subsurface features. Interestingly, buried channels can be seen 50 feet below the surface of the arid desert. On the other hand, the location and elevation of the different set of archaeological sites near Bir Kizeba, just 93 miles to the west of the Nile, suggests the second lower level of the lake at 623 feet above the sea level. This lake covers an area of 18,600 square miles. In fact, these newly discovered lakes add to the growing evidence of early and middle lakes of North Africa. And these could have supported human migration patterns according to research published in December 2010 in the article Evidence for Pleistocene Lakes in the Tushka Region, South Egypt. Also, the scientists are shocking the world with mysterious stone structures dating back thousands of years. Scientists have evidenced hundreds of stones in the Sahara Desert. According to archaeologists, the structure are not only of all sizes but also of all types. However, the archaeologists have not revealed what were the mysterious stones used for and when they were created. But the scientists only reveal on how the structures were designed. According to them, some were shaped like crescents, while others were made in the form of circles. They have evidenced some stones in rectangular shape and as well as some of the structures consist of rocks that seem to have been piled up in a heap. As per the archaeologists, one of the structures has a stone circles with a mix of lines in form of a platform 
made up of rock piles that are of about 630 meters long. Therefore, geologists have conquered that the Eye of the Sahara is a geologic dome because its formation contains rocks. The rocks include the igneous volcanic deposits and the sedimentary layers that formed as the wind pushed the dust and water deposits, all together with sand and mud. The geologists prove that today in the Sahara, we could find numerous types of rocks in the Eye region, such as carbonatites, black, and rhyolites. Now, when you think of a whale, what comes to your mind? Definitely, you think of a type of fish, right? But now, have you ever imagined the whales once lived in the Sahara Desert? And then one of the big questions clicking your mind is that should be how could the whale exist in a desert? Tighten your belt as we look into the terrifying evidence showing that the ancestors of the modern whales once swarm around the arid African desert. Let us take you back to those days, in the year 1902, when a group of geologists guided their camels towards the valley of the Egyptian western desert. They majestically explored the desert as they experienced strong blowing winds, which had turned rocks into strange shapes. Excitedly, according to the geologists, at night, the moonlight was so bright, thus making the sand to glow like glittery gold. In the arid valley, they saw a layer of bones of whales. They were scared by some of the skeletons, which were 50 feet long. The bones date back to 37 million years when the tropical sea covered this arid area. Thereafter, scientists had speculated that whales were terrestrial mammals that ceased gradually as they lose their four legs. As they prove this, they say that modern whales have vestigial hind leg bones. According to the fossil, paleontologists began excavating hundreds of whale fossils buried at Wadi Hitan as they have found legs and knees and since then, the older specimens of footed whales have been identified. In this case, paleontologists illustrated that whales' land lubber ancestors were deer or pig-like scavengers that have lived around the sea. Some of these sea creatures evolved from traits that resulted in the hunting of water. All in all, these whales reached a point where they no longer had to bear their body weight, as they become bigger with their backbones elongating and rib cages broadening. In addition, most of the fossils in the valley are of two types. They include Basilosaurus, which was the gigantic body, and the Dorudon, which was the muscled whale. And what have the scientists discovered about Plato in the Saharan Desert? Remarkably, the scientists have spotted the rings and discs in the oasis. This reveals that a momentous historical occasion of hunting and heading camps. Also, it illustrates the caches of up to 300 kilometers away from the unseasonal water sources and beyond the safe range of the herders. Perhaps this is the reason why we think that the ring was Plato's Atlantis, because of its description. For instance, the city had a lake composed of concrete rings for over a thousand years. Possibly, the erosion of such a site would not look as much as a geological site. Unbelievably, scientists have discovered some strange Achillean tools in the Sahara Desert. Interestingly, the tools were used by the Homo erectus. The tools are linked with the adoption of fire. Eventually, the scientists claim that in the Sahara is where the richest structure existed, and it used to be an Atlantean paradise. The Sahara Desert is one of the harshest environments, such as hot and humid climatic conditions. However, the Sahara Desert has numerous features revealed by scientists. Indeed, they have illustrated the Sahara Desert to be famous for the sand dune fields that are often depicted in movies. And despite the harsh arid conditions of the Sahara, surprisingly variety of animal species existed in this African region. Thank you for watching.